Do you want to know how to build a fairly low cost solo trap that will absolutely decimate big tier 5 players? <laughs> Stay tuned, you're about to find out. What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Lords mobile video and today, finally, <laughs> I unveil my new solo trap that I've just finished building and yes guys, it's an absolute beastie and today I'm going to be giving you an overview and general chat to talk about the things you need to do to set one of these up yourself so you can go out there and make your tier 5 nemesis bend to his knees and cry rivers of tears <laughs> so we're gonna get straight into this guys and dive straight into the castle let's get it okay guys we have appeared in my castle welcome to the new worthy solo trap yes guys you've been asking for solo trap content believe me it's coming <laughs> but right now guys i'm going to show you how you can build yourself a solo trap in today's meta and take out those tier 5 players so what we're going to do guys is do a full account overview i'm going to show you how i've set everything up and how it works i'm also going to be showing you a demonstration of how the trap takes a hit and the damage it receives i think you're going to be pretty impressed when you see exactly what this trap can do and like i said the most most important thing for me is it's not overpriced you haven't got to spend tons of money to make this i want you guys to be able to build it too so without further ado let's get into it now we're going to start off with the troops it is a very important part of a solo trap it's not the most important part because there's lots of other factors that come into building a solo trap but having a good troop comp a solid troop comp is definitely really really important and the way you set your troops up is going to determine whether you burn or whether you cap that leader let's dive into the troop comp i know you want to see what troop comp i've done let's go in and check it out so as you can see guys i have got 10 0.3 million troops in this trap now funny enough that's actually almost 5 million troops less than the previous video showing you how to cap tier 4 and that's because the tier 4 trap was set up slightly different um, it was running a high number of tier 1s and a tier 2 front line we definitely are not doing that no more <laughs> the tier ones are gone other than a little bit of ballista which i use for gathering and for soaking up those piruses the tier one is gone now from the solo trap let's move up to tier two and see what's going on as you can see in tier two we've got some action yes we've got 3.7 million gladiators and we have 3.2 million reptilian riders and then 300,000 catapults. And believe me, guys, those 300,000 catapults are absolutely vital because they are going to help you stop the enemy getting walkbacks or potentially you even burning, believe it or not. You know, those catapults are going to take out the enemy siege towards the end of the battle and they're going to do it quickly to save your troops running at the back and doing it. So prevent walkbacks, build siege. Siege saves lives. So check it out. This is the tier two grouping we've got. Now you might be asking yourself the question, Prince, why have you got 3.7 million glads and only 3.2 mil reptilian riders? Why have you offset that? Um, and that's purely to do with familiar damage, guys. I don't want any familiar damage touching my reptilian riders. Familiars will always attack the largest like troop type or largest squad number, should I say. And in this case, I want that to be the glads. Okay, and we'll get to the reason why in just a moment. Let's move down to tier three and here comes the front line a solid three million tier three stealth snipers okay we haven't unlocked the tier three siege there's absolutely no need to okay and we don't need any royal cavalry we don't need any royal guards and tier four is not unlocked wow you guys are probably thinking there's no way you're capping a solid march well stay tuned guys because you'll see it happen so check it out three million tier three range on the front line equaling a total of 10.3 million troops now again going back to that familiar damage Obviously, if someone says cavalry at me, cavalry is going to get absolutely wrecked, okay? And so, therefore, the, I'm not too worried about familiar damage of cavalry hitting my infantry because the damage they would have done to the front line would have been minimal anyway. So, the losses 
remain minimal. If I get hit with a range blast, I certainly don't want the range familiars going into my reptilian riders. So I have that increased um, infantry just to prevent the range familiar damage on the reptilian riders because that is pretty gnarly. So we don't want that. And the range on range, on range does pretty well, actually, range on range. You'll see exactly what happens later. And then, of course, the one you're all thinking of, the counter, the dreaded counter, <laughs> the infantry blast. Of course, the infantry blast means the familiars are going to go onto the infantry. So it's inf on inf. And then we get the counter inf onto that tier three range front line. And I'll be honest with you guys. I was clenching my butt cheeks when I took the infantry blast. And I'll show you a little bit later on. Um, but you know what? The results were not. We were actually pretty good. I was really happy with the results. So again, you're going to see that later. But that's how the troop comp is lined up. 10.3 million troops is not that much to build. So there you go, guys. Look, a true comp which is actually doable even for free-to-play players. Get out there and build your true comp up. Just make sure you stay shielded when you're doing it. Don't ever pop your shield until your trap is fully complete because you're just asking for trouble, okay? <laughs> All right, let's come out the troops and let's take out some more things. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is the heroes. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of heroes which need to be hired and they are not. They did not get the job. And the reason being is I don't want the added might. So they remain as hires. And we've, what we've done is I've just leveled up for the most part. Um, I've leveled up the ones which I'm actually going to be using. So as you can see, Rose Knight, Bombing Goblin, Child of Light, Snow Queen and Oathkeeper. Now that means I would have two range heroes on the front line, Bombing Goblin and Snow Queen. I've then got my two cavalry heroes because I want those cavalry heroes to give me some good boost on my cav to counter the infantry blasts. And then we just have Oathkeeper as my one infantry um, hero. And that works. This actual combination of free to play heroes works out really well. I'm sure you guys were expecting for a modern day like solo trap like this that I'm using to be running some kind of pay to play hero lineup of army heroes and all that good stuff. No, guys free to play heroes are what i'm using and will continue to use in my solo trap so i hope that definitely gave you a big surprise and that you're not actually needing any kind of like pay to play heroes to make this trap work all right okay let's come out of the heroes and let's take, take a look at the buildings as you can see i am now full infirms it's important to go back to full infirms after you've finished training the troops because you want the additional hp you get from a level 25 infirm which is five percent army hp that is absolutely vital so make sure you definitely uh, go ahead and get these all to level 25 before you take any hits on the account no resource buildings because we want to minimize that might just keep the main four so that allows you to switch between barracks and manors and things like that and infirms and all that good stuff okay all right let's go over to the familiars let's check out the familiars now i have gone ahead and researched three familiar slots on this solo trap and that's where some of the might gain uh, occurred on this solo trap was i wanted three familiars and you can already see the three that i'm rolling with on this account yep we're going with evil weevil check him out looking absolutely gorgeous we've got level 10 hearty feast 15 percent increase of army max hp yes please i will take all the hp you can give game so yes this is the one i want to go for first of all hearty feast uh, the second one I went for was Aquarius because I want to also negate some of my enemies' army max HP by 15%. Thank you very, very much indeed. So we'll take some Aquarius as well at level 10. Now, I also want to make a point that Trickstar, he may be at level 5 right now because I'm still working on leveling him up. That's right, guys. This trap still has some upgrades to do, but I did test it and it does work now. So with the upgrades, it's only going to get stronger, which is absolutely insane. But check this out. This was actually level 4 when I took the uh, done the demonstration tests the other night which I'm going to show you soon um, and today I actually leveled it up to level 5 so I mean this is this you're only going to get one proc of this and again I'll show you that a little bit later but absolutely vital to get that extra attack damage on your front line really going to help you a bunch um, and at the moment it's 36% I mean, when this gets maxed out, the results are only going to get better for me on the takes that I, I receive. So pretty good stuff with the Trickstar. We'll take a look at that as a whole on the wall. 
and there it is guys that's how the wall totally looks so there's your three familiars and there is your um your heroes looking absolutely gorgeous okay the perfect setup as far as i'm concerned for a solo trap right now now there is something else i'm going to show you guys before we get into the research because the research and gear of course very very important i want you to know that before we go research formations now i do understand that in the metal we're in right now it's all about counters it's all about people coming in with infantry quickly counter to cav oh someone's coming with range counter to infantry if you've ever watched my solo trapping stuff before and my opinions on solo trapping you will know that in my opinion a trap is a trap it doesn't matter whether you counter or not you should be able to cap anything if something hits you because that's the function of a trap if your trap has to rely on you countering you're playing a risky game because all it takes is one person to counter you you're burning oh dear so you need to make sure you can always cap whatever they send and for that you're going to need a good formation range wedge in my opinion one of the best formations to take any kind of hit in lords mobile all the gangbang rallies and solo because i've had in the past in fact rallies even it's been range wedge i've gone with range wedge this time as well and it serves really well the actual formation stood up great against the counter you're gonna see it a little bit later on but doing that extra bit of research and unlocking range wedge was beautiful i don't need to worry about messing around my formation when someone attacks me all i need to do is focus on the gear swap we'll come to the gear in just a moment let me give you a quick overview of that research monster hunting done to the bare minimum as you can see a little bit just to do some level two hunting military will go down siege hasn't been researched infantry defenses at level 9 offenses at 10 you can see we've got infantry health which is the hp range and cavalry at 9 uh, there's the tier 3 and no i didn't go ahead and touch any of those army things because it's just going to add too much might and you know what we don't need it so let's just move away from that defense I unlock spikes so i can build some traps so i can manipulate my numbers on my stats because nothing screams louder than a tra on a trap when you look at the stats and you see they have zero traps lost like it's a red flag instantly for most people when they look at stats so i wanted to manipulate that number so i researched spikes i built a bunch of traps i had someone break a bunch of them so when someone looks at my stats my number isn't zero i actually have traps lost so that just stops people from thinking hmm is that a trap <laughs> okay so there we go let's go into economy as you can see the bare minimum the bare minimum guys level six just when i was building stuff up military command we don't need to be in here do we just for breakthrough so we can upgrade some stuff to mythic as and when the opportunity arrives army leadership now i made a mistake here and i don't want you to make the same mistake i tried something didn't pay off added probably an extra four million might that i really don't want but it is what it is i tried to uh get into something which was uh this up here bigger infirmary i was looking at this seven percent and i was thinking wow i'd love to get to seven percent only to realize you need to have a level 25 academy i totally forgot so i could only get from like 0.2 up to two percent i increased my beds by like ten thousand or 7,000 or something and for the 4 million might gain definitely wasn't worth doing all these researches to level 8 so I would definitely try and avoid trying to level this bigger infirmary up because it's just might you don't need so yeah probably about 3 or 4 million might that I could have cut down there to be honest um, but we're human we all make mistakes range wedge definitely worth coming down here and putting these researches to the minimum and getting yourself range wedge unlock because it's a it's it's vital for this to work it needs to it needs to have a range wedge in this account all right uh, let's go over to upgrade military as you can see i've done some level one subsidies level two subsidies are at level 10 level threes at four end of the day i want to be able to reduce the cost of those tier twos as much as possible so i went ahead and done that um, I wasn't sure at the time of building the research up what I was going to actually do as far as true comp. So I went ahead and done all three of those to level 10. Obviously, if you know in advance, you can kind of not maybe do uh, the range level level uh, two subsidies up as high as level 10. But I wasn't sure what I was going to be doing when I first started this off. But most importantly, what you want to come down here and do is unlock quick swap too. 
this is what you're looking for you need to have the other quick swap and that's what i would that's what i managed to unlock once this was unlocked i stopped doing anything else okay you can take a look at the levels there and see where i'm at again you don't need to maybe go as high on some of these subsidies uh, that you're not going to be using but um again at the time i started i weren't sure what comp i was going to build so i went ahead and done all of them just so they're done and then, to be honest with you the might game wasn't that bad to be fair wonder battles no way sigils we done a little bit here what did we do here i done some sigil research here look at this i dived in i totally forgot i'd done this <laughs> i actually dived in and reduced my forging costs and stuff but what i was going for was this leadership attack here because it's an extra 3.5 percent range attack with the leader uh, for my front line um and i probably could do some more here to be honest with you the might gains are actually not that bad Seventy-five thousand might for a little bit of increase i can get myself a couple more percentage i mean hey every percent matters so later on down the line i might do a little bit more of this tree just to get some infantry attack and some cavalry attack and possibly even some extra hp there's some hp down here i could probably get two or three percent more hp it just depends on how much might that's going to increase maybe not worth it overall but something i was to i was toying with um, familiar battles like I said done the minimum to get down to battle slot 3 and then that's it nothing else to be done on familiar battles and then again in here in the actual familiar tree itself just unlocking pack 3 with the bare minimum completed and then going down here of course tier 5 advanced wonders no thank you okay that's the research out the way you can see what research has been done like I said it's a little bit of unnecessary research on the infirm stuff but you know it's what it is okay let's go into the bit which i know you guys are also interested in which is the gear what kind of gear am i running on this new solo trap well guys i'm going to show you right now so you ready for this we've got the fake gear which is what i'm in now and we have trap gear and the trap gear looks a little something like this okay so yes it's not full mythic no and i also want to point out there is a free to play piece of gear in my gear set. Now I know that Dragon Talons are gonna be so much better in there for the legs, cause they give me the extra army HP that the chaps don't, but this works. If it works, why fix it? All I need to do is just keep upgrading this and it's just gonna get stronger and stronger, but really, really happy with how this works so far. The three pieces of gear I have Mythic are fairly simple to get to Mythic, to be fair. Um, and then the other pieces again, I've gone for some different stuff I went for the ambrosial chest plate, which is the hedonic caress and this works really really well It's the firewall plate believe it or not would be a better choice I think because the fact that it comes with army HP this has infantry max HP which isn't on the front line so yeah, you could argue the firewall plates better, but there's other things this thing does as well. The infantry max HP means my infantry is more solid, which means when it does take those familiar hits, maybe it doesn't hit it as hard because they've got the extra boosted HP. I mean, I, I think that definitely could be a factor. And this, this is still a pretty good solid chess piece. But again, you don't have to build the gear exactly the same way I built it. You can go ahead and do a firewall plate and that will serve you well because it's a good, good chess piece. Accessories i love the accessories the scroll the ring the goggles all of it's got army hp lots of nice juicy stats went with the dragon fist for the extra cavalry attack and you've got the army hp on this piece too so the dragon fist really really nice that extra cavalry attack is delicious because it's going to help us counter those infantry blasts that come in because we want to kill those off as quickly as we can and then the good old honeycomb chaps the free to play piece of gear looking absolutely lush with those gold jewels and uh, some pretty good stats overall. The only thing it lacks is the HP. We've got the range defense, but that's not gonna do too much. Um, like, again, I may switch these out for Dragon Talons in the long run. But again, the tests were done with this gear you see in front of you now. Now, one thing I will say is this is where some of the investment comes in to building this trap. I do understand gold jewels like this is not easy to do free to play. It'll take you the best part of about two to three years to build up gold jewels like this free to play. So if you, when you spend your money on your trap, crown jewel packs are absolutely vital because you're going to want to try and push those gold jewels in as quickly as you can. Um, and again, like crown jewels and probably material madness right at the start or even frosty special actually i would probably say don't get material madness go for crown jewels go for frosty special because with frosty special you get to go and use the stars 
on the special monsters and get the ultra rares to build your gears up so that's how i would go about doing it um but yeah that's where your investment's gonna be uh to get the gold jewels in and you do need it we're gonna look at the stats because i promised i'd look at the stats so we're gonna go to the talents i think i'm already in war talents and this is how i have my talents set up guys for those of you that want to check this too because i know you guys want to see this too squad offense maxed out uh, level ones i took the range and the infantry up to 15 on this one to get the extra range and infantry attack my infantry was the only one that was slightly lacking which is another reason why i'm looking at the talons but you know we'll get to that another time but there we go range and infantry you can see we've got squad health one maxed out going down uh cavalry offense two i put the last few points in to level 12 and then we've got infantry offense three cavalry offense three range defense three squad health two that's basically how i have my talents set up and right now we can take a look and see i don't want to get fury of course let's take a look at my actual uh like uh, what's it called my uh stats and there you go that's what i'm looking at it's over 400 across the board and for this gear is not bad at all those jewels really do give it a boost like i said my infantry is a little bit low at 412 um, i definitely want to try and get that up so i think i might sacrifice a little bit of cavalry by switching out those chaps to the talons going forward plus to get the extra army hp uh, but right now i'm loving these stats 430 percent on the range that 463 extra attack power is going to help us a bunch to take out those infantry infantry blasts and 412 on the on the infantry itself so yeah pretty good 430 on the front line going down to the army stuff you can see i'm up 200 and 52 percent army hp i would like to get that to 300 um we'll see how i can work on that going forward a little bit of army attack as well they're 19 percent it's like i compare this to my main account and it's uh, night and day but uh, <laughs> for what we need to do with this it absolutely works fine so that's where the stats are looking right now okay so there we go that's your gear we can switch that out we'll go back to the fake one for now okay and then we look at the artifacts artifacts people have been asking me about this are you doing this on your solo trap yeah why not i mean everyone's doing it don't think because you've got a few stars on your artifacts that people are going to be like oh no i'm not going to hit that it's got stars everyone's working on it so if you've got no stars that looks even more sus and i haven't got loads of stars as you can see on loads of levels i literally got lucky enough to get myself a few gold ones and why not put a couple of stars on and level them up a little bit because look at the extra stats you get from doing it eight percent cav attack hell yeah just try and focus on the ones which you get without battle fury because obviously as a solo trap you shouldn't be getting battle fury so just focus on the straight up stats like these hp stats yum yum um and stuff with leader stay away from the ones which include battle fury because you won't get the use out of them but stuff like this with the extra hp boosts oh i'm definitely down for this there's a ton of hp in here and it's going to help me out an absolute bunch when it comes to taking hits on my um, on, on my solo trap so hell yeah definitely going to be going for some of that so one of the buildings i want to highlight in this video as well that i want you to take to level 25 is the watchtower now at level 23 you do get to see pretty much everything it that the enemy's sending reveals the rank grade of heroes stage of rarity of familiars everything like you can see everything at level 23 but even though it's a little bit of extra might it's important to go to 25 because at 25 you get a reduced enemy invading troop attack 10 percent which is a debuff a debuff of 10 percent troop attack um so absolutely guys you definitely want that if you can make your enemy weaker when they're coming into your castle you want to take that so definitely make sure you take the watchtower to level 25 and i think i've mentioned this on a previous video but something else you can do which i haven't done just yet is take the embassy to level 25 as well um you don't really get anything for it like it's just allied troop travel speed but i think it's important to get this to 25 because if you do get in a pickle and you need your you know you need your friends to come over and help with some reinforcements trust me you're going to want every troop they can send so having this at 25 definitely would help an absolute bunch at the moment mine's sitting at amiga level sit 13 so right now i can only receive uh, 150k reinforcements which ain't gonna do too much <laughs> so i definitely think that getting this level 25 just to be safe um is a good idea as well so something also to consider it's optional i'm not doing it right now but i probably will going forward so just something to bear in mind i think everything is set here for you to know what you need to do 
to build yourself a solo trap. But now, what you really want to see is the solo trap in action. So let's dive to that and I'll show you what it does when it gets hit. Okay guys, welcome to the testing of the solo trap. So I've shown you what I did to go ahead and build it. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the trap in action taking a hit of each troop type. Big fast shout out and thank you to Corinthians for coming along and doing the testing for me. I needed a really strong rally lead account to come along and test this and put it for its paces. Corinthians hitting well over 900%, coming up closer to 1000% on each blast. So this is a really good test for me. Um, we're going to see how we go. We're going to start off with the cavalry blast initially. And I think he's about ready to launch it in. You ready, guys? Let's get it. Here comes the cavalry. So we'll take a look at the march he's sending in. You can see it's a real, like, real kind of like tier 5, tier 4 march that people would normally send at you in the game. Very few people send pure tier 5. So please don't make that argument. Everybody puts buffers in. And this is the cavalry blast which he's sending. Max, almost, well, max attack stars. A very high amount of artifacts. Decent gear. Look at this gear. It's a four, four, four piece, five piece champ cav set coming at me right now. This is definitely no pushover. And here comes that cab blast walking into my solo trap. And boom, there's the cap. Very nice. So that was cavalry. We kind of knew what that one was going to do. And as you can see, 366,000 wounded on that on, on my trap, which is a really, really good take. I've got to say, I was really happy with that take. And as you can see, uh, the damage on the front line, 142,000 and only 223,000 damage onto the gladiators. And you can see my comp was slightly different here. I had slightly less gladiators um, in, in the, at this point of doing the testing. So I have up there a little bit as well on troops. Here comes second march. We've got range coming in. It's a gnarly range blast. Of, of course, pack five fans, everything in these marches, guys. Uh, all the nice heroes. Look at that. Range Blast coming in. There's the gear he's sending it in. That's a banging set of range gear. Three-piece champ. Some Astralite on there as well. That's a scary range set, guys. And that's on its way into my solo trap right now. So we're going to see how my trap deals with the range onto the range wedge. We'll see how we go about taking this hit. So here he comes. Corinthians walking in with the range blast. And it's a cap. There we go. Very nice. Now, of course, of course, I took more damage. I took a few reds. 659,000 wounded and 39,000 reds. Just a little bit going into the sanctuary. But of course, if I'm taking hits in real time in the game, I'm going to be insta healing. So it's okay. It's all Gucci. Frontline is still intact. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, really good hit. 480 onto the frontline, 218 onto the gladiators. And here's me healing, just showing you that healing process. I'll be doing this instantly almost, I'm getting hit in game, and my front line's back to three mil, so I'm absolutely fine. Sanctuary, taking a little bit of a knock there, but nothing that's too worrying. But based on me taking a few reds on the range, my butt was clenching for the infantry. <laughs> but I knew I was gonna take some more reds, but the amount of reds is what matters. Here comes the infantry blast. Yeah, that's scary. We've got the Twilight Priestess, the Grim Wolf. We've got a really solid tier 5 march coming in now uh, for the infantry. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Look at the infantry set, guys. It's a banging infantry set. You know, pushing some seriously high stats uh, with that infantry blast. Uh, it's not for the faint hearted, put it that way. And uh, okay. All right, let's get back to it and see how we do with the infantry blast coming. I, I know it's going to be a, a big hit. I know I'm going to take some reds, but let's just see how it goes. So, rally coming in, and it's going to be a cap, or solo coming in, should I say. Nice cap, cap the infantry, big mic drop, Woo! dropped about 20 on million <laughs> might. ouch. So we'll see exactly what I've done, only 396,000 red deads, I'm actually surprised, I thought I was going to take a lot more than that. I probably would take a few more if it was a bigger player, like full Astrolite or something, but still, I still think I cap, no problem. 800,000 on the front line. Oof, that was a real gnarly hit. Um, but again, we heal up and the front line's back practically to full strength. I will say this much, guys. When you get group attacked, not everyone's going to be hitting as hard as a Corinthians, you know? You get maybe one or two decent-sized rally leaders, and the rest of the people, like fillers maybe... People that aren't as strong as red leaders will hit way, way less. 
The chances of you getting hit group attack by a massive group of castles all with rally lead stats is, is quite slim. And if that does happen, just shield. <laughs> know your limits. But for the most part, this trap works absolutely great. And I'm looking forward to getting out there in KVK and in Kingdom and trying it out and getting some awesome content for you guys. Guys, the worthy trap is back. And I'm looking forward to bringing you some awesome solo trap content. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash that like button, guys. And I'll be back at you really soon with some awesome trapping content from your boy. That's going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative. I hope it inspires you to go and build your own solo traps. But until that time, stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.